Why do they always call it Dance Dance Friday? Yeah, why can't they call it Dance Dance Monday? Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Now time for Pirate TV. Guess who's back? Hello Pirates, it's Monday, December 6, 2010. And can it be true? This is the last real week of school before our holiday break? Excellent. Mark your calendars for next Monday, December 13th. The Fine Arts Department will be putting on an annual Winter Arts Festival here at the high school. The doors open at 5.30. There will be music, art, theater, refreshments, and crafts. Performances by the Gold Dusters, Jazz and Vocal Ensembles, and the Middle School and High School Band. Even the 5th Grade Choir. $5 at the door. Jostens will be here this Thursday during lunches. Juniors can take care of the class ring business. Seniors can still order caps and gowns and other graduation goodies. <laughs> See the flyers posted throughout the ha hallways for more information. Any girls who are interested in powerlifting should be at the meeting this afternoon, 315, in the weight room. See Coach Burnett if you have any questions. Seniors, if you're planning on college, you need to check into scholarships. They sure are handy when it comes time to pay for your education. The counselors can tell you about all sorts of scholarship opportunities. So, not only in this, oh, not only is the counselor's office a cool place to hang out, but you can actually learn something in there. The student council will be having a Christmas party tonight at Mr. Trammell's house. Please stop by Ms. Jewish, get, get information on the direction and times. This weekend, 9th and JV teams both won in the Edgewood tournament. They are still undefeated. The varsity finished strong, winning their last three games. The Pirates will play home against Tyler, All Saints, tomorrow night. Also, Ninth and JV will be in the Van Tournament, and Varsity will be in the Brownsboro Tournament this weekend. But my name, BJ. I'm KD. Have, Have a, a nice, nice day. day. Would you like your photo in a national publication? Well, this honor goes to 25 seniors in this year's Scholar Athlete Milk Message of the Year Award program. Where'd you get that milk mustache? I want one too. Here, drink this. The deadline is March 11, 2011. For more information, visit bodybymilk.com. Both the freshmen and JV kept their undefeated season alive by winning the Edgewood tournament and two championship thrillers. Both teams showed great tenacity by coming from behind in the fourth quarter to pull out a victory. Next up for Canada is All Saints Tuesday, night at home. Freshmen play at 5, JV play at 6.30, and Varsity plays at 8. Pack the stands. Well, good morning, Pirates. December 13th, and on Monday, we'll have our 6th Annual Winter Arts Festival, and Sarah and I are here to tell you all about it. Um, first off, there'll be visual art groups there. Uh, there'll be lots of great music there. The theater department will be there as well as the drill team, right, sir? Yes. Okay. Um, admit, getting in is $5, uh, $3 in advance. If you want to show up, find a band person or theater person who has tickets or a drill team member. Um, they can sell you tickets for $3. If you come the night of, it's $5, right, Sarah? Correct. Right. And it's going to go on from 5.30 in the cafeteria and close out in the gym at 7.30 with the band concert. Hope to see you there. Right, Sarah? Right. Okay. As you know, finals for the first semester are set for December 15th, 16th, and 17th. If you have the grades and the attendance, you can't exempt. But it's kind of complicated, so pay attention. All right, if you haven't been absent and have at least a B for the semester, you can exempt. If you have one absence and at least an A in that class for the semester, you can exempt. Freshmen, you can exempt one. Sophomores can exempt two. Freshmen and sophomores can sign up at my office, the attendance office, before and after school for exemptions. See the two purple clipboards. Make sure with your teacher that you're eligible to exempt. Once you sign up, you cannot change it. And juniors and seniors can exempt all. If you qualify. Teachers need to turn in their list of junior and senior exemptions no later than December 13th. 
Here's the deal. If you've been absent more than once, you can't exempt. Also, three tardies in a class equals one absence. Some absences may not count against you for your exemptions, such as extracurricular activities and school-related absences. Or court appearances. If you've been to ISS, Saturday school, or been suspended for any reason, you cannot exempt. And as always, these rules are subject to change. And we'll pass that along if and when it happens. Finals are coming up and the school year is halfway over. Yay! Wow, that might have been the best pirate TV ever. Thanks for watching.